This lens can only be removed when the shutter is cocked. There is a very small amount of fungus in the lens. It's very difficult to see. I do not believe it would affect the image quality in any way, shape, or form. I managed to photograph it at one point, but it's, uh, it's incredibly insignificant, but it is there. The lens is almost in perfect shape. All of the lower shutter speeds fire, excuse me, faster shutter speeds fire. They appear to be perfectly accurate. As you get to the slower shutter speeds, there is some hesitation. I'll demonstrate these now as best I can, starting with an eighth of a second. The switch below the meter is a mirror lockup. Also opens the rear doors. This will allow you to hear the shutter more accurately. So that's an eighth. Eighth sounds accurate. Now for a quarter. Quarter sounds decent. Now for half, half second. I cannot guarantee the accuracy of half a second. It sounds like it catches somewhat. Now for one second. You can hear one second struggles a bit. I can guarantee you that the one second shutter speed is inaccurate. It's probably closer to two seconds. Course B works just fine. It's hard to show in video, but the lens focuses very smoothly. I don't know what the exact resistance it should. Uh, feel like, but to me, this lens focuses perfectly. The 
shutter blades are a little bit difficult to show because I have to get the shutter speeds aligned. There we go. So now 2, 8, 4, 5, 6, 8. Wait, why is it not showing them? Uh, it's not showing them because I don't have the... There we go. Depth of field preview button held down. Okay, so that's held down. So two eight, four, five six. Damn it! Keep letting go of the depth of field preview button. All right, holding the button down. Two eight, f four, f five six, f eight, f eleven, f sixteen, f twenty two. The depth of field preview button, when you're at anything other than 2.8, once you press it, it stays down until you cycle the lens to 2.8, and it goes back up again. All right, so this lens is in near mint condition. It has some scuffing where it was tripod mounted, but otherwise shows virtually no damage anywhere else on the body. As I said earlier, the black paint around the rear of the body and around the front of both of the, both of the um, film backs is completely clean. A more heavily used camera would have paint scraping. The lens has shown its age and its slower shutter speeds are not reliable. Personally, if this was my camera, I would just get used to that. I very rarely use one second or half a second. But um, I cannot say when this camera was last repaired if it was ever repaired after purchase. So the lens could perhaps use a CLA, which I believe would cost somewhere between one and $200. Oh, almost forgot. The lens hood, line up the red dot, push it in and turn. Push it in, turn the opposite direction to remove. And that is the Hasselblad 500cm serial number RS124-2346. It comes in a Halliburton style case doesn't actually have a label. The case will protect it in transit and the case will be stuffed with padding material to make sure nothing moves around. Which makes it somewhat difficult to close. the brand and I do not know the code. It is currently sitting at one three or excuse me three one six.